The Confession of St. Patrick, by Patrick of Ireland is a compelling autobiographical text that delves into the spiritual journey, struggles, and experiences of St. Patrick himself. Composed in the form of a confession, this piece provides a deep insight into the life and convictions of one of the most influential figures in Christian history. Patrick's narrative is marked by his humility, evident in his acknowledgement of his own shortcomings and sins. He begins by introducing himself as, a sinner, the least of all believers, and utterly contemptible to many. This admission sets the tone for the entire confession, emphasizing Patrick's humility in his reliance on God's grace. One of the central themes in Patrick's confession is his spiritual transformation. He describes how, as a young boy, he was not devout and had little interest in faith. However, after being captured and taken as a slave to Ireland, his perspective changed. During his captivity, he turned to God, finding solace and strength in his faith. This transformative experience shaped his future and sowed the seeds of his missionary work in Ireland. Patrick's account of his escape from captivity and eventual return home highlights his reliance on divine intervention. He credits God for guiding and protecting him throughout his hardships. His escape from Ireland didn't mark the end of his connection to the land, as he was called back to Ireland in a vision to spread Christianity. The confession also reflects Patrick's deep commitment to his faith and his fervent missionary zeal. He speaks passionately about his desire to bring the gospel to the people of Ireland, despite facing numerous challenges and opposition. His unwavering dedication to his mission is evident in his willingness to face danger and persecution for the sake of spreading Christianity. Additionally, Patrick's writing offers insights into the culture and society of his time. He portrays the pagan practices and customs of the Irish people, juxtaposing them with the teachings of Christianity. His efforts to contextualize the Christian message within the framework of Irish culture and traditions demonstrate his astuteness as a missionary. Throughout the Confession, Patrick's language is rich with biblical references and religious imagery. He draws heavily from scriptures, using them to reinforce his arguments and experiences. His writing style is straightforward yet evocative, engaging readers with vivid descriptions and heartfelt convictions. Moreover, the confession serves as a testament to Patrick's unwavering faith in God's providence. He attributes all his accomplishments and successes to divine intervention, emphasizing the importance of faith and reliance on God's guidance in every aspect of his life. In conclusion, the Confession of St. Patrick provides a profound glimpse into the life, faith, and missionary endeavors of Patrick of Ireland. Through his humble and fervent narrative, Patrick not only recounts his personal journey but also encapsulates the essence of Christian devotion, perseverance, and the transformative power of faith. His confession continues to inspire and resonate with readers, highlighting the enduring legacy of St. Patrick in the Christian tradition.